Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the default keyboard shortcuts in Reaper. Next, we're going to check out some item processing. Let's select these three items, go to the item menu, and go down here to item processing. Over here, and we can see two actions that'll normalize our items. The first one will do it separately, while the second one will use common gain. In other words, the level that's boosted will be the same on each item, where this one, they'll be separate. And the keyboard shortcut for this one on PC is Shift Control N, and on Mac, Shift Command N. And this one, for common gain is just shift N. So if we hit that first keyboard shortcut, it boosts the gain on each item as loud as possible without distorting. And we can see on this one, it's just about 3 dB. And this one is only boosting about 0.3. So it boosted their gain separately. But if we undo this and just hit shift N, it boosts them all the same, just about 0.3 on each item we selected. And next, we could process our items with dynamic split. Now, I already showed you this in a previous video where we could use the D key to open up dynamic split. Hit D, it opens up that dialog where we could apply dynamic split to our items. Hit it again to close that dialog. Now we could also add stretch markers. Go to the item menu, go down here to stretch markers, and we can see this action to add stretch marker at cursor. And the keyboard shortcut is Shift W. So if we put our cursor right here, hit Shift W, it adds a stretch marker right there. We could put another one here or here, and we could adjust it just like this to stretch our audio. Very useful for adjusting our timing with audio. Now we could also open our items with an external editor. Let's select this item, go to the item menu, and go down here to open items in editor. And there's an action to open items in an external app. Now I set this up for Audacity, but we can change it in the preferences. Just scroll down to the bottom to external editors, and we can add different applications in here. And then they'll show up right over here. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is all Control E, and on Mac, it's Option Command and E. So if we hit that keyboard shortcut, it opens up that audio item in this external editor, where we could edit it further in here. And for MIDI items like this one over here, normally we would double click it to have it open up in the MIDI editor. But we could also do, go to the item menu, go to open items in editor, and choose open in inline editor. And the keyboard shortcut is just the E key. So if we select some MIDI, hit E, it opens it up in the inline editor, where we could edit our MIDI right in this window. Just drag it, so we could edit the MIDI right in the arrangement window. Hit the E key again to hide the editor. And then finally, we could glue our items to create new items based on a new size. So let's say we wanted to glue this item and this one and make them one big item. Go to the item menu and we could choose glue items within time selection. And the keyboard shortcut on PC 
is shift control G and on Mac it's shift command and G. And notice there's another action over here that's just going to glue items not based on the time selection. But we can still use this result with the keyboard shortcut over here. Let me show you. If we create a time selection like this, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it glues these two items based on the time selection size, before and after. But if we didn't create a time selection and just selected these two items, hit that same keyboard shortcut, and it glues the items even though we don't have a time selection. It's still going to work. Undo it. Let's select this item as well. Hit that same keyboard shortcut. And it glues the items, creating one item based on the boundaries of the three of them. But again, if we want to do it with a time selection, we could use the same action. And it glues the item based on the boundaries of the time selection. So that's pretty much it. That's the default keyboard shortcuts in the item menu in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.